This is Carl at National RV Detroit. I'm going to walk you through this 2023 Zinger travel trailer, model 380 FB. Okay, uh, this is not a floor plan video, it's a how-to video, so I'm going to just show you some of the features and how they work, okay? Alright, so we have regular crank down scissor type stabilizers. You have two power awnings with LED strip. Okay. Sliding door, outside speakers, you have a, a TV signal out plus uh, power to put a TV out here if you choose to. Deep cycle marine battery, and this is the kill switch for the battery, you can actually just shut it off if you need to. Two LP tanks uh, with an automatic changeover regulator. Okay. This is your tank, your black tank flush. Now, um, I guess we can talk about the flush right here. So, after you dump your black tank, black tank is toilet water and waste, of course. After you dump it, you leave your valve open. You leave the dump valve open. Then you come over here and hook the hose at the dump station right onto here. And uh, turn it on and it'll, it'll flush out your black tank. It'll clean off the sensors, that sort of thing. So, it's a really really good thing to do if you've got a working hose at the dump station okay this is just some storage you have your um, 30 uh, 30 foot 50 amp power cord okay uh, that's your your dump hose there you get another reducer uh, you should have two yeah you have two reducers this one right here which reduces the 50 to a 30 and then this one here which reduces the 30 to a 20 and of course your cranks Okay, these are your valves here, uh, black valve there, gray there, and then there's another valve up here. If you can see it, oh, it's right here, I'm sorry, right here. Okay, all right, so moving down, you have a, uh, a, um, sprayer a slash shower for kids and dogs and feet and bikes whatever you want to hose down looks like you have two black tanks so this is the second black tank flush you must have two toilets in here i haven't actually looked it over yet we'll see when we get inside this is a on-demand water heater here so you have on-demand water i'll show you how it works once we get inside but you've got an endless supply of water um get that back on correctly there we go. Moving on. This, this is uh, the vent for your range hood. So if you're going to use the fan in your range hood to vent to the outside, you always want to reach up there. There's two little latches, and you open them up so the baffle in there flaps freely. So you always want to be able to, the, 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 the baffle to flap freely so it vents to the outside. Your city water hookup is right here, the most common way to get water to the trailer. Now, if you're camping someplace without city water, you're boondocking or wherever you're at, and it doesn't have city water, you can pre-fill your fresh water tank here, and then use the onboard pump to pump the water when you get inside. Everything will work, as, all the plumbing will work as though you have city water, you'll just be pumping it from the tank, so. And of course, your fresh water drain, that white gate valve there, okay? All righty. So, we're pre-wired for a Furion backup camera kit, so we do sell those here if you're interested. Um, it obviously turns on when, you, uh, when you're backing up. You can also keep it rolling, running down the road if you're interested. So we, we do sell those. Uh, you have a ladder, which makes it easy to inspect your roof. The manufacturer states every, every 90 days you should go up there. Somebody should go up there and uh, check out the sealant. Make sure there's no cracking or separation where water can get through. Uh, check out the roofing materials and roofing attachments. Make sure they weren't damaged by you know, low branches or something like that. So. Just give it a good look over. That's that's important. It should be part of your regular maintenance. You can't you don't you can't know what's happening up on the roof until you go up there and look. Okay, yeah. So we do have two two toilets here. One here, and then the master up in the front. So that's why there's two black tanks. Okay, so here we are at the control panel. You have um, three slide rooms and your power awnings. Two power awnings. Never leave the awnings out unattended. Always roll them in if you're not going to be at the campsite. Your water pump is right here. 
We uh, talked about that. You use that to pump water out of the fresh water tank if you don't have city water. You also use it to winterize the trailer. Three lights, and then of course your levels are all right here. Okay, they graduate up in one third increments. Your thermostat is analog. Always keep the fan on auto, and then you, one click to the right will give you heat, uh, and click to the left gets you your fan. The fan is just the air conditioner running without the compressor. You go all the way over to the left, and you got full air conditioning. Let's see what this says. Okay. Your keys are hanging on the faucet here. You have a cooler, or just a small refrigerator, and then your main refrigerator here. This one runs on 12 volt DC. This is an AC refrigerator. Uh, you have your, your um, carbon monoxide LP gas detector right here. It should always be green like it is. If it's not green, get it serviced. It's obviously uh, important. Okay. Okay, moving on. Microwave works like any other microwave. This is your range hood here that we talked about. If you're going to run the fan, you want to open that baffle on the on the vent outside, and you have a light here also. I don't know if he's got the gas turned on now, so if not, we'll just talk through it. But the three center knobs are for the three burners. This one all the way to the left is your sparker. You turn it clockwise to spark and this one is for the oven you also have a switch you get your blue light or your oven light also okay let's see if he's got any gas on yep sure enough so it's that simple when it comes to the oven there's a pilot light at the bottom all the way to the back you're going to go to the picture of the pilot light and depress it keep it depressed while you're lighting it after it lights you're going to, um, you'll see the flame and then you'll hold it in for another 10 or 15 seconds to heat up the thermocouple. And then you're going to go to operating temperature, obviously. When you shut it off, the, the, the flame goes out, but so does the pilot light. So you have to relight the pilot light each time you use the oven. Always travel with this closed. Okay. Alrighty. So we have a, a regular obviously just a regular TV and it has a swing out bracket on it okay your sound bar which has a remote uh, you have a FM radio no AM just FM you have a USB drive you have a Bluetooth so you can stream wirelessly with your from your phone or tablets whatever two speaker zones A and B A is inside the trailer B is outside the trailer so it does a lot the bottom here we have a fireplace the fireplace is is also uh, these are your remotes here. The fireplace is also a, uh, a space heater. So let me show you. Right now it's flashing H, which means which means high. Let me get it down. Fan is off. Fan is on low. Fan is on high. When you put it on high, it really kicks out. Okay. It's a good space heater. Let me shut that part off. Oh, that part off. You also um, can change the color of your crystals. Okay, um, you have a, a thermostat, up and down arrows for a thermostat. You also have a, um, a timer on this, so you can set the timer to turn on and off whenever you want. Oops, I'm pushing the wrong button there, I'm sorry. There we go. So, that's the fireplace slash space heater. All right, this sofa here let's see what kind we've got here i think it's a jackknife yeah this jackknife's flat to turn into a bed you have two uh recliners here okay always strap your chairs down um you don't want them just to, to be to be uh held to the floor you just want to keep them from bouncing around and breaking something basically so okay this is your uh, uh on-demand water heater that scratch is not in the plastic. It's in. The, looks like it's in the cover. I just want to make sure. Yeah, it's just in the cover. So, um, basically, this won't operate unless unless it feels if unless water is demanded. Let, either you have city water hooked up, or your water pump is on and you have water in the tank. Then it'll turn on. It's very simple. 
it's set to 117 you can change it but don't make it too hot obviously and it's that simple every time you turn on the hot water it'll send you hot water all right um, sink works like any other sink all all RV trailer toilets sit over a black tank so um, that's why you have the black tank flush for each toilet um, so when you get to the campground you're going to you hook up your power and your water then you're going to put a dose of chemical and uh, step on the pedal and put at least a gallon of water into the tank along with the uh, along with the chemical then it's ready to be used if you don't that's called using it dry you can't use it dry because if you do the uh, it'll smell terrible and it can get clogged up so always chemical to water in each black tank this is your power con or your power uh, converter this converts AC to DC power so you can see you have regular 110 AC few, uh, circuit breakers here this, this is your your uh, uh, would this would be equivalent to your your box at home in the basement or garage wherever you have it so all the all the circuit breakers are labeled they're all 110 AC then the power is converted to 12 volt DC over here so you got 12 volt fuses and they're all labeled too not only that when you're when you're um, plugged into shore power this will send so much energy your battery needs and it'll always send enough amps up there to keep your battery charged so well, obviously when you're to when you're going down the road your tow vehicle will charge your battery and when you're plugged in this power uh, converter will charge the battery okay all right if you're gonna under here you probably have a, your screen let's just slip the cord here. yeah you have your screen for the sliding door plus these slats for a uh, for your door blind okay you also can pull this up in the storage underneath you got plenty of storage there um here, let's get some light here uh you have tv hookups here and a backer plate so you can mount a bracket so you can watch tv when you're laying down you've got all this uh storage here back into the master bathroom and you you See the toilet sits right over a black time, so so you always have at least a gallon of water and chemical in there when you start. GFCI, there are two of them in this trailer. All the plugs in the trailer are wired through a GFCI. So if, if you're using a plug outside and it pops, you'll, you'll come into one of the inter probably this one, and reset it there. So they're all they're all protected through GFCI. Your shower works like any other shower. Your sink works sinks work like any other sinks. This is pre, uh, let me turn it over here. This is pre-plumbed and wired for a washer dryer. So you can either get the stackable one or the washer dryer combo. Um, so you can you can add that if you want. We do install them here. So if you're interested, talk to one of our guys. Um, let's see here. I think that about covers it here. Let me look around a little bit. Okay, make sure your sliding door is latched when you're traveling. You don't want to get damaged. Okay, I think that covers it. So I want to thank you for purchasing your trailer here at National RV Detroit. Um, please remember what I said about inspecting your roof every 90 days. That's very important. You can't see what's happening on the roof unless somebody goes up there and looks. So make sure that's part of your regular maintenance. And you have on-demand water, so you're all set with that. So. Um, when you come to pick up, if you have any other questions, you can just ask us and we'll, we'll talk you through it, okay? Thank you.